Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your mid-June 2019 general reading. It's a general reading so it will not resonate with every Aries who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Thank you to those who've done so. Um, make sure you comment, comment a yes or no question below. It could be selected to be answered for free every Friday. All right, so let's get into this. Some of you, my Aries men, are, it looks like you're on the brink of um, a, a relationship ending, a marriage ending, or some long-standing union ending. There's, there's conflict, there's discord, there's uh, jealousy, there's reversal, there's some, so many different things. It's so much change which, that's happened in something that is long-term. Also, there could also be another person outside of this uh, marriage or long-standing relationship or job. You may be going to another job. You may be going to another person if it is um, marriage and love and romance. There's interference. Here's the, there's something inserting itself within um, a, a committed dynamic for some of you. Uh... It looks like some of you may be visiting lawyers. You are a lawyer or you do skilled work. Uh, you do very detailed skilled work. Um, that may be your profession that you are in. And you may be going to another job or, or whatnot. Uh, for my Aries women, it looks like some of you are waiting for contact. Or you're waiting for a message to come in to you that is um a message that somebody is either choosing you or it's going in a new path with you good news you're waiting for good news to come in to you are uh, you waiting for that message so that you can start to alter your life too and your emotions uh for my aries women there may have been um a job change or career change you're learning something you're um, kind of like the in that apprenticeship um that uh, lots of learning um this is wish fulfillment for you 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 always wanted this you feel like once you get it down packed then you'll definitely be resting in that ten of cups type of energy okay so let's get into this um for some of you in the past there was something being held from you uh, there was conflict that came to, excuse me, there was an event that caused conflict and it, and it challenged um, a relationship. And it may be that something came out. Uh, also, something was being hidden. Either Aries you were doing the hiding or someone else you were dealing with, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe was doing the hiding. There was an, uh, information not released to you that could be of use to you. Um, uh, significant use to you being held back from you that's the past now we have presently we have the eight of swords and the death card so for some of you um, it's the question of um, is this ending is this really going to end you have negative thoughts around an ending or a transformation and it may be both Either you're ending something and, and going into a new something else. Uh, or someone else is doing this energy. Also, this could be also in regards to career and finance. Uh, career career wise, there's so many things you have to learn. So, many, so much information you have to take on mentally. You don't know if you'll get it. You don't, you don't know if you'll ever get to a place of mastery with this new new job new transformation that you've made um lots of lots of question is somebody or are you ending something um because it feels cyclical it feels like it's just a cycle it doesn't feel like you this person will ever get off the hamster wheel whether this is you aries or someone you're dealing with you you, you don't know and you want to know it, is this really going to transform or transpire into something that is beneficial to the Aries first 
Um, in the near future, <laughs> presently somebody could be t feeling stuck or stagnant in an ending. See, this is a long, this is a long ending. That's not like the tower. So somebody's feeling stuck in this energy. Like, well, when is it over? Um, when it, this could be personal transformation also. When is the hardship over? When will I get to the next level is what some of you are asking. In the near future is the seven of wands. It looks like you get to a place of having to defend your convictions, defend how you feel, defend your position. Um, you also may be kind of closed off. Someone may have made the choice, the choice of you, and now you have to defend yourself in regards to uh, opposition. Also keep in mind that your psychic abilities are heightened toward the opposite sex, so you're on guard in regards to what someone tells you or doesn't tell you. This is perseverance to perseverance because you know uh, there's an inner knowing. You uh, are gaining control of the situation by by awarding off and staying staying the course. Perseverance. You could leave, but you you're not you're not going to leave your position. Holding holding the the court holding the gate um, you could also be blocking out negative energy you know in in holding this position it'll get you to prosperity and success some of you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. Uh, a male. Be female, but it's male energy. Um, they make decisions with their heart. Not to say that they are completely emo like everything is emotional. Uh, they're emotionally balanced. They know when to to show emotion and when to reserve uh, they do this because they can pick up on other people's energy also and if they always show exactly how they felt it could be sometimes uh, defined as being emotionally manipulative because in their kingly energy they can emotionally manipulate the energy. Uh, so sometimes to reserve the, the natural course of things and, and let things play out naturally, they don't show their hand emotionally. Sometimes you don't know where you stand with this person emotionally. You, you know that they, they like you, they love you or whatnot, but the, the overflow, the, the the constant outpouring of emotion is is not going to be there uh, and, and they feel differently about how they feel about certain things also sometimes they're moody um, yeah but they try to definitely rest rest in an energy of uh, being emotionally balanced Some of you are being filled with spirit, being filled with what you love, who you love, what you love to do. Some of you found new home. You found new, new reason, new existence in regards to what, what your life purpose is. In a sense, you feel like you found your calling. 
Um, let's see what the Aries is holding their ground in regards to in the near future. The Seven of Wands. Wow, the Seven of Swords. So definitely um, we have we have an Aries that is regaining the upper hand control in a particular relationship or position in life by way of uh, energetically blocking, energetically or physically defending uh, strategic and secret planning the Aries is more concerned this time about the necessary change that needs to happen within this long-standing union or marriage they're no longer concerned about the fact that they love a person and it's soulmate and twin flame. It's more so, okay, if I'm doing this, I'm doing this, but I want to get what I want out of it. The Aries now is operating with an end, end game, end goal here. What's the, the end result if the Aries is standing their ground in regards to some affair that they were in that or they're in there now there might be ultimatum or there is the Aries is making the rules in regards to this. Some of my Aries are at a place where they no longer are going to just accept what is just given to them. They are discontent with what they built with a particular person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So they decided to have a have victory over this situation by way of the double-edged sword, cutting something out and starting anew. Maybe the Aries walked away or abandoned one position to go to another, uh, completely emotionally checked out of a situation. So, something about the Aries being. This is the final straw. Someone feels like they do all of the work and pushing something forward and keeping something on track. Someone feels like once they release a secret, secrets or, or lies have been released or some release happens here they can move forward. They, they've regained control. Some of my Aries feel like they have to do this in regards to a marriage and laying down a marriage. Uh, laying down something, um, ending something, going to something new. Um, whether it's just new, newly single, newly out of a marriage and just getting your life back in order. Um, new job. Uh, it could be anything. Some of my heirs are dealing with a Cancer Scorpio. <clears throat> Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Everybody's here except for Earth. 
so there's not a lot of groundedness in this it's a, ho a whole bunch of action and thought I think I do because the Aries is trying to get to a place of having something solid and true either in career or in love the Aries has made a demand, an ultimatum, or, or set the standard for moving forward. Let's see if this person takes the demands or the ultimatum serious. Let's see how they feel about this. Or if this is an Aries who's changed job. This is, this, okay. Okay, so you so Okay, Aries, with you making these demands, it looks very very promising for you. Oh, wow. Okay. This is good. Meet me on the other side. It's always $2.25 just to get the extended read. Aries, I can tell you that this looks really good in regards to you standing up for yourself. Uh, family dynamic, career and finance, love, love relationship, marriage. Uh, I can tell you, yeah, this looks really, really good. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right. Aries, meet me on the other side. The link is below. It's always $2.25. Especially if you feel like the reading resonates with you thus far. Um, okay. Aries, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care.